How's it going everyone? Zabiru or X from the Zabiru Oni YouTube channel. Just wanted to do a quick YouTube video about my Steam Deck OLED here. As you can see, I have the one terabyte limited edition and I was fortunate enough to get it. I had to play, you know, the timeout roulette that is uh, pre-ordering tech online, but I'm so happy I got it. It's a big upgrade definitely over the LCD version. Both great models. If you want to get into handheld PC gaming, I can't recommend the Steam Deck um, anymore. Anyways, I wanted to talk about the new indicator light that's at the top of OLED models. Now, when you do charge your Steam Deck OLED, while you're charging it, there is a white LED. Now, I have a charger at my bedside. Just for reference, it's the Bezos 100 watt. It has four ports here, two USB-Cs, two USB-As, and I never have a problem charging multiple devices on this. I charge my phone, Bluetooth earbuds, uh, Bluetooth headset, anything I need, you know, before travel or there's somewhere I'm going for the day, uh, always comes in handy. I also have an Anchor 100 watt that has three ports on it, two USB-Cs and a USB-A. I think the U one of the USB-Cs is like a 65 watt, you know, definitely made for laptops, you know, some of those higher wattage devices. But anyways, um, one time, it was, I think of the first night, yeah, the first night that I had my Steam Deck OLED, I went to go charge it, and I noticed that the indicator light here at the top was like a green, orangish, like, it was like a mixed light, and I'd never seen it before. Now, I noticed that it still wasn't charging because usually when the 10% notification comes up, I'll plug it in, and then it went to five, and then it went to three, and I was like, wait, what's going on? So I plugged in the 45 watt, you know, two and a half meter cable that, you know, comes with the Steam Deck. And as you can see, it went straight to the white light as I described. So I was like, okay, what's going on? Do I need, you know, another higher watt, you know, cable or charger? Um, I have an Anchor and I have a Ugreen that are both rated for 100 watts. So I tried both, still nothing. I tried like I said, my anchor, uh, 100 watt brick. I think I tried. I think I tried a, another random, you know, random company brick. Still didn't work. So what I did was, I again another reference. I had my phone charging as well. I have a Google Pixel Six Pro. Been using the basis 100 watt charger, no problem. Uh, all different types of cables. So I was like, okay, after I was doing all this random, you know, swapping out, I was like, let me take my phone off. And if you give me a second here, I'm going to swap out the 45 watt Steam Deck charger for my Bezos one. And then again, just for reference, I'm going to use the Ugreen cable. And if I plug it in, it's white. So I'm going to use that anchor cable, plug my phone in. My phone is charging. And if I plug the U green cable in, there we go. We get that greenish, orangish, like mix, you know, LED indicator light. Now, depending on, I guess, what you have, I also have a forget what brand it is, sorry, but I also have one of those um, dongles, like 7-in-1 dongles that have, you know, Ethernet, HDMI, uh, USB-A, USB-C. And when I was using that to transfer some ROMs onto my Steam Deck, I noticed that it had also had this indicator light, but it was actually charging. But if I were to keep this on, this would actually not be charging it. So I noticed that my phone had to be, take that out, had to be plugged in second. So I'm taking this U-Green cable that I have, and as you can see, it's white now. I'm gonna plug in my phone, and now my phone is charging. Now my phone, I think it came with like a 30 watt rated charger, so 
you know, you kind of do the math. 45, 30, at 75, still have 25 watts. So, again, not an electrician. I'm not too big into, you know, I don't know, you know, ratings or I don't know, you know, voltages and amperage and all that. So, but it was just something that I encountered, something that I kind of wanted to talk about, find someone else who had the issue, but didn't really find out. So, again, I noticed by just plugging in my Steam Deck first and I guess letting that be the priority, letting that getting, I guess, the initial you know, the initial charge first, and then plugging in my phone or whatever else, then everything was kind of good to go. And I haven't seen a, I haven't seen any sort of degraded performance in any of my devices. I guess it's just something that's built into, you know, these bricks, cables, uh, devices to kind of, I guess, you know, make sure that everything's, I guess, getting the right priority, the right wattage, etc. So, I don't know. I just found it really interesting. Um, you know, this Steam Deck is really, is really a unique device. Um, it's helped me get into 40 FPS gaming a little more because, again, not all the AAA games are, um, you know, great at high or medium at 60 FPS. So, hey, I mean, I enjoy this. I'm glad that, you know, Valve is taking the steps to support this and listen to feedback. Um, so... But anyways, it's now charging up to 90% now. Went from 89 to 90, as you just saw. And it'll go up to, like I said, the green indicator light at 95, which is when I'll take it off. But again, something I found interesting. If you found it interesting or if you experienced anything about, you know, charging or with your battery, have you had to replace your battery in your Steam Deck? Uh, I haven't played mine that much. I do play mine a lot more than my conventional desktop. But haven't gotten that far on the LCD model and definitely probably not anytime soon on my OLED. But let me know down below uh, what your thoughts are. Um, hey, if you have any other questions or if you have any experiences with this, please let me know. Uh, please feel free to check out the rest of my channel. Leave a like, dislike if you, you know, have any constructive feedback for me. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.